and welcome to Book Bites, presented by the Longmont Public Library. I'm Barb Walter, one of the librarians in adult services at the library, and today I'd like to introduce you to Riva Lara and her trenchant 2020 memoir, Golem Girl. In its starred review of Golem Girl, Kirkus Reviews magazine says, an artist born with spina bifida shares her story with grace and humor. Lehrer, whose paintings of what she calls socially challenged bodies hang in the National Portrait Gallery of the Smithsonian and many other museums, narrates her difficult childhood with elegance and freedom from self-pity. Her evolving self-awareness as an artist, a disabled person, and a woman with a complicated sexuality are well explored. And her prose ranges from light and entertaining to intellectually and emotionally serious, and it's always memorable. An extraordinary memoir suffused with generosity, consistent insight, and striking artwork. Golem Girl is a memoir, yes, but it's also a captivating social history of disability culture from the mid-20th century till now, showcasing the resourcefulness of disabled people who are expert at finding new ways to do things when the old ways won't work. In a chapter titled One of Us, Lara tells of her own entree into disability culture when she reluctantly accepts a friend's invitation to a meeting of the Chicago Disabled Artists Collective. Hear her vibrant description of this life-changing encounter. The tabletop loomed with torn bags of Doritos, packs of Chips Ahoy, and shiny cans of seltzer. I smiled, plucked up a cookie, but my legs remained tense as a jack-in-the-box, ready to pop me the weasel out of there. Figured I'd give it a few minutes, excuse myself to the ladies' room, and neglect to come back. But then I noticed a tiny thing. A superficial thing. A crucial thing. A me thing. What I saw was that everyone was well-dressed. For years, I'd only seen people like me in the hospital or in waiting rooms, demain of the tracksuit, the polyester muumu and tie-back Johnny so like the clothing I'd had to wear as a kid. Camouflage garments that could have done duty as duck blinds. These people had zero interest in hiding. The woman sitting across from me was absolutely resplendent in a purple suede jacket and orange feather boa. Even her wheelchair was stylish a low, open design like an Ames chair on speed. A woman at the far end of the table was wearing an actual red riding hood cape. Next to her sat Bill Shannon, outfitted in hip-hop regalia. There was more dress-up in this room than in an entire season of the BBC. None of it was haute couture, it was style, and a refusal to flinch from being looked at. The message was loud and clear, and it was, look, we exist. I'd expected to meet a few of my people, but holy cats, these were my people. Golem Girl is on the short list of nominees for Chicago Review of Books 2020 Cherby Award for Best Nonfiction Published by a Chicago-Based Writer. If you've read and enjoyed memoirs like Such a Pretty Face by Nadina Laspina or Don't Call Me Inspirational by Harold and Russo, if you love diverse reads, own voices books where the author has the deepest possible understanding of every facet of that particular life because they've actually lived it, then Golem Girl is a must read for you. Golem Girl is available in print at the Longmont Public Library and is also available in ebook and e audiobook formats online through the Front Range Downloadable Library. And newsflash Golem Girl is our pick for the library's first ever book chatter podcast premiering Friday, January 8, 2021. Find out how you can participate in our new online book club called Book Chatter. 
Details are under Programs and Events on the library's website. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And stay tuned for more Book Bites. Bye-bye.